Day 14 Total Consecration to Jesus Through Mary In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit. Come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your well-beloved spouse. Come, Holy Spirit. Come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your well-beloved spouse. Come, Holy Spirit. Come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your well-beloved spouse. Purpose. To obtain knowledge of yourself. Prayers. Examinations. Reflection. Acts of renouncement of our own will. Of contrition for our sins. Of contempt of self. All performed at the feet of Mary. For it is from her that we hope for light to know ourselves. It is near her that we shall be able to measure the abyss of our miseries without despairing. We should employ all our pious actions in asking for a knowledge of ourselves and contrition of our sins. And we should do this in a spirit of piety. During this period, we shall consider not so much the opposition that exists between the spirit of Jesus and ours as the miserable and humiliating state to which our sins have reduced us. Moreover, the true devotion being an easy, short, sure and perfect way to arrive at that union with our Lord, which is Christ-like perfection, we shall enter seriously upon this way, strongly convinced of our misery and helplessness. But how to attain this without knowledge of ourselves? Reading Imitation of Christ Book 3 Chapter 13 The Obedience of One Humbly Subject to the example of Jesus Christ. My child, he who attempts to escape obeying withdraws himself from grace. Likewise, he who seeks private benefits for himself loses those which are common to all. He who does not submit himself freely and willingly to his superior shows that his flesh is not yet perfectly obedient, but that it often rebels and murmurs against him. Learn quickly, then, to submit yourself to your superior if you wish to conquer your own flesh, for the exterior enemy is more quickly overcome if the inner man is not laid waste. There is no more troublesome, no worse enemy of the soul than you yourself if you are not in harmony with the spirit. It is absolutely necessary that you conceive a true contempt for yourself if you wish to be victorious over flesh and blood because you still love yourself too inordinately. You are afraid to resign yourself wholly to the will of others. Is it such a great matter if you, who are but dust and nothingness, subject yourself to man for the sake of God? When I, the all-powerful, the Most High, who created all things out of nothing, humbly subjected myself to man for your sake, I became the most humble and the lowest of all men, that you might overcome your pride with my humility. Learn to obey, you who are but dust. Learn to humble yourself, you who are but earth and clay, and bow down under the foot of every man. Learn to break your own will, to submit to all subjection. True devotion 
to the Blessed Virgin. Point 255. Praying the Magnificat. To thank God for the graces he has given to Our Lady, her consecrated ones will frequently say the Magnificat. Following the example of Blessed Maria de Ognes and several other saints, the Magnificat is the only prayer we have which was composed by Our Lady, or rather, composed by Jesus in her. For it is He who spoke through her lips. It is the greatest offering of praise that God ever received under the law of grace. On the one hand, it is the most humble hymn of thanksgiving, and on the other, it is the most sublime and exalted, contained in it are mysteries so great and so hidden that even the angels do not understand them. Gerson, a pious and learned scholar, spent the greater part of his life writing tracts full of erudition and love on the most profound subjects. Even so, it was with apprehension that he undertook towards the end of his life to write a commentary on the Magnificat, which was the crowning point of all his works. In a large volume on the subject, he says many wonderful things about this beautiful and divine canticle. Among other things, he tells us that Mary herself frequently recited it, especially at Thanksgiving after Holy Communion. The learned Benzonus, in his commentary on the Magnificent, cites several miracles worked through the power of this prayer. The devils, he declare, take to flight when they hear these words. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. Prayers. Veni Creator Spiritus. Come, Holy Spirit, Creator blessed, and in our souls take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made. O Comforter, to thee we cry, O heavenly gift of God, most high, O fount of life and fire of love and sweet anointing from above. Thou in thy sevenfold gifts unknown, thou finger of God's hand, we own, thou promise of the Father, thou who dost the tongue with power imbue, kindle our sense from above, and make our hearts o'erflow with love, with patience firm and virtue high, the weakness of our flesh supply, far from us, drive the foe we dread, and grant us thy peace instead, so shall we not, with thee for guide, turn from the path of life aside. O may thy grace on us bestow, the Father and the Son to know, and thee, through endless times confessed, of both the eternal Spirit, lest. Now to the Father and the Son, who rose from death, be glory given, with thou, O holy Comforter, henceforth by all in earth and heaven. Amen. Ave Maristella. Hail, O star of the ocean, God's own mother, blessed, ever sinless virgin, gate of heavenly rest, taking that sweet Ave, which from Gabriel came, peace confirm within us, changing Eve's name, break the sinner's fetters, make our blindness day, chase all evils from us, for all blessings pray, show thyself a mother, may the word divine, born for us thine infant, hear our prayers through thine. Virgin, 
all excelling, mildest of the mild, free from guilt preserve us, meek and undefiled. Keep our life all spotless, make our way secure, till we find in Jesus joy for evermore. Praise to God the Father, honour to the Son, in the Holy Spirit, be the glory one. Amen. Magnificat, my soul, proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour, for he has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. All glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Litany of the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Father all-powerful, have mercy on us. Jesus, eternal Son of the Father, Redeemer of the world, save us. Spirit of the Father and the Son, boundless life of both, sanctify us. Holy Trinity, hear us. Holy Spirit, who proceedest from the Father and the Son, enter our hearts. Holy Spirit, who art equal to the Father and the Son, enter our hearts. Promise of God the Father, have mercy on us. Ray of heavenly light, have mercy on us. Author of all good, have mercy on us. Source of heavenly water, have mercy on us. Consuming fire, have mercy on us. Ardent charity, have mercy on us. Spiritual unction, have mercy on us. Spirit of love and truth, have mercy on us. Spirit of wisdom and understanding, have mercy on us. Spirit of counsel and fortitude, have mercy on us. Spirit of knowledge and piety, have mercy on us. Spirit of the fear of the Lord, have mercy on us. Spirit of grace and prayer, have mercy on us. Spirit of peace and meekness, have mercy on us. Spirit of modesty and innocence, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit, the Comforter, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit, the Sanctifier, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit, who governest the Church, have mercy on us. Gift of God, the Most High, have mercy on us. Spirit, who fillest the Universe, have mercy on us. Spirit of the Adoption, of the children of God, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit, inspire us with horror of sin. Holy Spirit, come and renew the face of the earth. Holy Spirit, shed thy light into our souls. Holy Spirit, engrave thy law in our hearts. Holy Spirit, inflame us with the flame of thy love. Holy Spirit, open to us the treasures of thy graces. 
Holy Spirit, teach us to pray well. Holy Spirit, enlighten us with thy heavenly inspirations. Holy Spirit, lead us in the way of salvation. Holy Spirit, grant us the only necessary knowledge. Holy Spirit, inspire in us the practice of good. Holy Spirit, grant us the merits of all virtues. Holy Spirit, make us persevere in justice. Holy Spirit, be our everlasting reward. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, send us thy Holy Spirit. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, pour down into our souls the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, grant us the spirit of wisdom and piety. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of thy faithful and enkindle in them the fire of thy love. Let us pray. Grant, O merciful Father, that thy divine Spirit may enlighten, inflame, and purify us, that he may penetrate us with his heavenly dew and make us fruitful in good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, thy Son, who with thee, in the unity of the same Spirit, liveth and reigneth for ever and ever. Amen. Litany of the Blessed Virgin Mary Litany of Loretto Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of the Church, pray for us. Mother of Mercy, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother of Hope, pray for us. Mother Most Pure, pray for us. Mother Most Chaste, pray for us. Mother Inviolate, pray for us. Mother Undefiled, pray for us. Mother Most Amiable, pray for us. Mother Most Admirable, pray for us. Mother of Good Counsel, pray for us. Mother of our Creator, pray for us. Mother of our Saviour, pray for us. Virgin Most Prudent, pray for us. Virgin Most Venerable, pray for us. Virgin Most Renowned, Pray for us, Virgin Most Powerful. Pray for us, Virgin Most Merciful. Pray for us, Virgin Most Faithful. Pray for us, Mirror of Justice. Pray for us, Seat of Wisdom. Pray for us, Cause of our Joy. Pray for us, Spiritual Vessel. Pray for us, Vessel of Honor. Pray for us, Singular Vessel of Devotion, Pray for us, Mystical Rose, Pray for us, Tower of David, Pray for us, Tower of Ivory, Pray for us, House of Gold, Pray for us, Ark of the Covenant, Pray for us, Gate of Heaven, Pray for us, Morning Star, Pray for us, Health of the Sick, Pray for us, Refuge of Sinners. Pray for us, Solace of Migrants. 
pray for us. Comfort of the afflicted, pray for us. Help of Christians, pray for us. Queen of angels, pray for us. Queen of patriarchs, pray for us. Queen of prophets, pray for us. Queen of apostles, pray for us. Queen of martyrs, pray for us. Queen of confessors, pray for us. Queen of virgins, pray for us. Queen of all saints, pray for us. Queen conceived without original sin, pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven, pray for us. Queen of the most holy rosary, pray for us. Queen of families, pray for us. Queen of peace, pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Grant, we beseech thee, O Lord God, that we, your servants, may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body, and by the glorious intercession of the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, may be delivered from present sorrow, and obtain eternal joy through Christ our Lord. Amen.